Uh, <clears throat> don't spill your hot chocolate. Uh, I love hot chocolate. Especially at night. Um, because if I drink coffee after work, I'll get like, God, <laughs> it just doesn't feel very good. Um, if I'm going to drink coffee, I'll probably have to put some booze in it just to kind of bring me down. <laughs> just so it evens you out. But, uh, hot chocolate by itself. Actually, it tastes pretty good with, uh, if you go ahead and put that, uh, uh um, salted caramel, um, ground royal in there. Ah, not kid friendly. But we have toys today. Oh, the good old guys from uh, Noble Knight sent me some stuff. And something I noticed, you know, or uh, what I purchased, I got at a pretty good rate, like uh, shipping rate, when I did purchase these. The shipping rate has gone up phenomenally. So what would normally cost me maybe 20 bucks to get shipped to Canada now cost me almost 60 bucks. So I noticed that uh, it's the same thing, same exact thing that I have in here, um, same price, but now it's like, like crazy, almost triple the shipping. So things are going a little weird for... Uh, you know, uh, postage um, for shipping. Um, but strangely enough, if I order stuff through Amazon, I know uh, uh, Noble Knight does have affiliation with uh, Amazon because I am apparently getting a, a set of books from like from a, you know, the Infinity books uh, for the role playing game, and that's for the Corvus Belly. Uh, um, miniatures and strange enough it's it's really reasonable through uh, Amazon so you know good on that so what did I get here oh they've given they, they get, they're starting to give out uh, little uh, extras in there uh, so uh, cool thing 10% bonus so uh, they gave me some 10% bonuses here. I guess, you know, I, I do I do message them and say, like, I give them a wholehearted thanks all the time, you know, when I do get my stuff. Because you know, it is nice to let them know you got your stuff and it was awesome. You didn't have a hassle or nothing. Everything was paid for through the border and all that. And uh, it was great. I love bubble wrap. After that, all right, big bag of stuff. Now, this is with their 50 lot of uh, of minis. These are like $15. So, this is because uh, what I want to do is last time you guys seen these, these guys had the uh bases on them like uh like so these uh big bases so these guys would be like attached like so all it takes is going crack and these come right off so so it, uh they're attached by certain uh points here on the uh on the bottom uh these can be easily ground right off uh they put it on with uh basically uh you know uh the uh, crazy glue so easy to get them off snap and they come right off so nice uh, vehicles so I have myself uh, th just to kind of show you I got uh, three of these do, do, do. take these uh, mechs out of the way here looking like a mech convention here <laughs> Three of these, and and sorry, I don't have my uh, um, 
my chat open right now. I mean, you can you can chat things if you want to, but uh, I can't see them right now. And uh, yeah, this whole lot here, I got all at once. Snowball night, and uh, enough tanks here to uh, an assortment. Oh, I should have some. Uh, get some maybe with some SRM. Uh, you know the launchers on the backs of them and stuff like that that later i first wanted to see whether or not these would actually coincide well and these do make up a fairly good you know if you're if you're looking at these at like 80 tons to 100 tons they they fit and these being uh you know around the uh, 60 50 to 60 ton kind of idea because when you look at a mech and let's say this one's going to be like 55 tons here. So, and the size of that, um, yeah, uh, they're pretty darn close. Like, you know, they're not exact, but close enough for representation. So, scooch these guys over here. Let's get into our 50 lot of commons here. And the reason why you want to buy the commons and not the uh, veteran and stuff, because the veterans and all that stuff are going to cost, like, cost a lot. Because they're like, uh, they're like rare, more rare kind of items. And we got these. Uh, now, I'm going to compare these to what we have here. So... Yeah, it is a slight discrepancy in scale, but it's actually not that bad. You know, it's it's pretty close. These guys are in big battle suits. These guys are in big battle suits. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's what it is. They're close enough. So yeah, I'm getting. Fair a lot of uh, troopers, suits, rigs, guys with uh, SRM launchers. Uh, oh, dude on bike. Some more uh, dudes in super big battle suits. And uh, once again, a good variety. It's close enough, you know. You need you need to represent some. Oh, they gave me some vehicle minis in here too. Cool. So small, uh, you know, like a, a hover kind of vehicle. Group of uh, five men here. And squads. More. Uh, Cannons, artillery, all kinds of different units that uh, you could. Uh, so I'm gonna take take these guys off of the uh, off of these mountain mountings as well. You know, they'll they will they will snap off with uh, with a bit of uh, cohorcing with the. Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Do I have my? Ch -ch -ch. Um, looks like I don't have my implement of destruction here at hand. So I do have this uh, kind of like a heavy-duty version of a of exacto knife, um, which I use every once. So you might have even seen me use it on here um, at, from one time or another. It's a little heftier version, of like a screwdriver handle, you know, kind of thing, with an exacto blade on the end, and it works really well for that. So I got lots of variety here for a fifty lot of these guys. So yeah, once again, another one of little skimmer units. Some more dudes in battle suits. Another skimmer unit. The only thing I haven't got uh, yet is some, uh, you know, flying units, which 
definitely would be something I will uh, look into uh, acquiring. So yeah, I will go through each one of these, put them in through uh, the totally awesome solution, and uh, just to take off the paint off of them, and uh, repaint them to uh, the colors that I want. I mean, I could keep them, you know, but if I have enough of each kind of color on here, it's a, let's see why not. They're, they're pretty... They're not a bad little paint job on each one of these guys, you know? They're not too bad. Some of them look a little funky and <laughs> gaudy, but uh, that's, uh, that's what it is. Trim these guys off and put them on uh, hexes, which reminds me I'm going to have to probably print up a bunch of hexes that, that are the same size as uh, these ones on here. Uh, I do have 3D printers, so that'll be something I do. Yeah, lots of skimmers. I was actually surprised. I thought these were just going to be all infantry. So it's pretty sweet. I do see some broken off infantry in here. So in the bag. Something I'll have to possibly mend here. Yeah. A few of these skimmer units. Doesn't look like any of these have actually broken off. Uh, it looks like just a few loose pieces that they uh, threw in there as extra, possibly. As I don't see any of these with any loss of um, anybody. Hmm. And a few little extra guys in there. Save us. There's what? One, two. Two dudes in there. Two stragglers. <sighs> so. Um. Yeah. So the next part will be, yeah, prying these guys off of off of their bases here. Let's see, are they fairly easy to go horse off of here? Yeah, they're only put on with like crazy glue, so it's uh they're fairly easy to pry off. I just need a have something at hand to pry them and and I can do that. No problems. I thought it would be a little harder taking off these tanks and they were easy. Easy. So cool. I got a couple of 10% coupons there. Which is a nice thing. Um, so quite possibly tomorrow. Uh, I will be doing a big uh, bit of painting during the day. I'll stream that of course. Uh, because it's my day off and uh, oh yeah I do have to go take a trip to my local hobby store and uh, see what they have in because I'm expecting him to get in some more um, of the box sets of the Warhammer I mean not Warhammer uh, of the uh, Battletech uh, minis here uh just um like a like we're looking at probably a couple more command lances for uh the inner sphere one for one side one for the other and seeing whether or not there's any of the new ones coming out um which uh i doubt i think they're supposed to be coming out uh, in uh sometime in the fall or something like that but in the meantime i got enough to play you know two sides 
plus uh, against say a clan you know the clan units as well if I wanted to do that um, I'm thinking of getting a group together here in town just to do some uh, battle tech role playing so using like for the time uh, time of war or uh, or even the destiny rules and uh, pulling a, a couple of sessions of seeing what people think of uh, playing the role-playing game version of it is like for them and uh, using you know of course the max and and what we have here for you know color and flavor on the uh, table from time to time and if they want to get into like you know individual scale I got tons of uh, sci-fi minis and enough um, uh, background material like uh, I'll grab uh, like this uh, this kind of stuff here the uh, battle system uh, table train so this is my box of just uh, odds and ends and pieces and stuff like crates and all that stuff this is all 28 millimeter kind of stuff these are all like uh, uh, dashboards and, and things like that. Uh, this is a big table uh, to plan operations on. Uh, like this. This uh, actually hangs onto a uh, wall unit. So this will be like a uh, hooks onto the wall, like, and uh, comes part of the local furniture, doors, that sort of thing. These are. Uh, put together with a hard card laminated card pieces you can tell They're very shiny um, lots of stair units as well oh, stairs like so you know for going up into other levels and all that stuff very cool um, there we go consoles and stuff Star Trekian kind of stuff yeah full box of that plus uh, like I say a bunch of uh, floors and uh, woo, tons of floors and, and walls so I can build a entire you know double layer starport that's the size of my table so um and that comes from uh from the uk uh, it's pretty good stuff very easy to assemble it's got little clips to clip all your walls and everything together very sturdy sturdy enough to to do the multi-level thing and have lot, lots of minis on them and stuff um heavy minis no problem it's uh very um durable for that um yeah so uh yeah i had a good day at work and uh we got a lot of stuff done a lot of organizing and everything so everybody is uh, happy at work have to make everybody happy when you're in management yeah so yeah tomorrow painting and uh, putting so I'm gonna be uh, getting the cockpits done on these guys that'll be tomorrow as well as uh, the uh, cockpit glow and all that stuff so I'm gonna have the traditional like orange glow in there as well so I do have uh, paint for that uh, like uh, fluorescent kind of stuff and yeah we're gonna be putting on decals and everything so there's gonna be a bit of touching up on some of the paint and stuff like that you know get the the blue and and uh, and yellow a uh, little brighter on certain areas so you you know you just enhance those with just a little like uh, a glaze of each uh, just to you know bring it up just a just a hair on those minis to give them a little bit more color back but still 
um, having that uh, brushed, uh, dry brush look on the uh, on the outside of them, uh, still peeking through. So on their edges, and then also doing all the little uh, uh, missile uh, nubs here with uh, with red as well, little little dots of red in there, and uh, yeah, mm, decals and decals. And then uh, whatever time I have, you know, for uh, possibly uh, taking some of these and uh, turning them into something that will, uh, uh, that I can paint in different colors. Yeah. We'll see how the day goes and, and go from there. Um, and I got a bunch of like battle tech stuff. I mean, I could I could show you different books and stuff like that if you want. Uh, I'll have the uh, chat open and available for that sort of thing too. And uh, if anybody's inquiring about any of the other games that I might have here, I could also pull them out and give them a kind of a quick overview on on the books and stuff. Let you know what's in the pages. <sighs> or even some of my board games. I got tons of board games. Tons of them. Like I, I, I'm not like tons like as in uh, some of the people on YouTube. <laughs> but um, I do have a, a fair, fair number of, of cool uh, science fiction and... Uh, horror games as you know as well as you know semi role playing meets board game kind of stuff so I'm going to enjoy my coffee and uh, see remember Dwayne Dwayne who comes on here every once in a while and plays a game or two well I think I'll try to get him into a game of uh, uh, Mech Warrior Online or something here. Let's see what he's up to. Me, I'm just going to relax tonight and uh, enjoy my night. And see whether or not the wife also wants to watch something or something. I don't know. It's, she usually goes to bed pretty early because she's got a she's a manager too. And she's got to do her own thing at her paint store. So busy busy for all of us so you guys have an uh, awesome night thanks for uh showing up and taking a look at uh what i got going on here get psyched and prepared for tomorrow because i will be online and i will be streaming so i'm not sure exactly what time i'll just be on there since youtube doesn't give me any way of uh, providing a heads up on on a stream or something like that so I'll be on and uh, if anybody shows up that's cool if not you know just watch it later that's cool you guys take care